Well, that was a pretty nice set. I've been to this pond before. Uh, really didn't have a lot of success when I came last time because I didn't scout it properly enough. But this time I learned from my last mistake. I came here a couple of days ago, scouted it, figured out where I was gonna sit, and then that would give me the best opportunities to try to take pictures of wood ducks. I've got a lot of pictures of ducks in my portfolio, but of all the species, wood duck is probably my weakest link. I just don't have a lot of good pictures of them, and there's really no good reason why, but because I've had access to the spot for a while. But it took me a while to try to figure out what the best approach to photograph it was. And so I scouted it a couple of days ago, figured out where I was going to set up, came back this morning in the dark, because the ducks don't roost here, they just feed here, and then worked my way to the east side of the pond, sat down at the edge of the water, just kind of used a, a ghillie blink that I have and, and wore camouflage and, and just made a makeshift blind that would suffice for today and uh, hope for the best. You know, what makes this pond so attractive to wood ducks is it's surrounded by woods. It's got, uh, not only does it have mature oak trees that surround it, these water oaks surround the pond, it also has low growing brush around the edges of it. And that makes it a challenge from a photography standpoint, but it makes it perfect habitat for these wood ducks because what will happen is crows and blue jays and squirrels will get up in those oaks and they'll try to get acorns for themselves. And when they do, they knock acorns out and they fall in the water. You can sit here, I've been sitting here all morning and it sounds like someone's tossing rocks into the water, but what it is are acorns fall, falling off these trees. And so those wood ducks will work their way into the brush and feed on those acorns and anything else they can find. So when I got here this morning, I brushed up my blind as best I could and, and got my spot ready. And all of a sudden the ducks started flying in. And, and again, they don't roost here, they just they feed here. And so the ducks started flying in from everywhere. So I went ahead and got set down. It was dark, I couldn't take pictures, too dark to take pictures, but it was a great listening to them in the dark. And as the sun came up, uh, I noticed I probably had a hundred wood ducks all around me. Some were just four or five feet away. They were just right at my feet. And that sounds like a good thing, but it's really not because I had too many eyes looking at me. So every little move I made, someone was watching. And eventually they spooked and they didn't fly off the pond. They just flew on the, over on the back side of the pond, probably 50, 75 yards away. A little too far to photograph, but they were still over there. But here's one thing I've learned about birds of all kind. If you'll just settle down, don't make a commotion, they'll soon forget you're there. And as long as you're well hidden like I am right now, they'll come back. And so eventually they started coming back and it was real foggy this morning. We've had warm days. The water's cold, but we've had warm days. So there's a lot of steam coming off the, uh, off the pond. In fact, my lens is a little bit fogged up right now because of the temperature inversions that are going on around this pond. And uh, so it was pretty foggy this morning, which made for great video. I've got some pretty nice pictures of the ducks in the fog. Uh, but as the sun came up, I got some good opportunities. Are they award-winning shots? Probably not. Will they supplement my portfolio well? Absolutely, but it's a great opportunity and it's always fun just to come out and sit and look for wildlife and, and wait on the birds to come by and just watch them in their natural habitat. And to be able, like I do, sit out in, in, in the brush and just be a part of the, of the nature that, that's around me. And my setup is pretty simple. I'll just come in in the morning, uh, try to find me a brushy spot. I've got a little window here that's maybe 10 feet across that I can shoot through. Uh, there's brush on the left, brush on the right. So if the birds get on the either left or right of me, I've got some concealment straight out the front. It's pretty open, but I don't have a whole lot of wiggle room. And then I carry this ghillie blanket with me just to uh, cover up my camera and my tripod legs just to break up the pattern. And, and uh, But anyway, it's just great to come out here and set. I'm going to stay about another 30 minutes, see what happens. Uh, the neighbors caused a little bit of commotion next door, and so all the ducks flew off, but a few are starting to kind of filter back in. So I'm going to see if a few more might come in, see if I can get another shot or two, see if my camera will unfog, and then uh, just see what happens. But either way, I've had a great morning, it's been a great set, and uh, I can't wait to come back to this spot again.